They're both bisexual. They do weird things in their house. And young men have left their house screaming to get away from them in their mentorship. Meek Mills. <laughs> Bashir Gray. Left that house screaming. August the only one that stayed, and I guess he was really sick. He needed a dog. I'm saying that because of the artist that I just spoke to not that long ago that got invited to a party at their house. Everything was cool up front until they went to the back, and there was a bunch of old fucking niggas and fucking young boys back there, all ass naked in the Wade house. So I find it funny that Gabrielle's sitting there talking shit about Boosie. Maybe you suspicious of him because of the shit that's happening in your house, bitch. Fuck out of here. These niggas be talking greasy on all kinds of shit. But I don't like when these so-called black Hollywood couples want to come in and then they want to sit there and play gatekeeper. Meanwhile, they're abusing and misusing all kinds of young people. And guess what? Don't nobody want to admit that they a victim. So they pretend to be friends. Ah, uh, yeah. Will Smith ain't slapped that nigga over love. He slapped that nigga because that bitch told him to. <sighs> or maybe, because she's looking a little hocus pocus these days too. Is it alopecia? Or was it like, you know, entrance into the club? I don't know. Mm. But shit don't look right. You fucking see Tiger Woods and the next thing you know, he damn near die in a fucking car accident. I don't fucking know. Mm. I know she gangster as fuck. <laughs> I know she's from Baltimore, and I know there's no shame in that region. I know that for a fact. Mm. So, you know, uh, the movie Emancipation, um, how the fuck you going to play in a movie called Emancipation and you can't emancipate yourself? Ooh, bars. Because you trapped in a hole. My nigga, you trapped in a hole. This bitch clowning you day after day after day after day. And, and, and once again, I hate saying these things because their children are dope. But Jaden's kind of MIA. And considering that he emancipated from their household at 16 and refused to come back even to do family interviews. Think, you know? Yeah. Willow's just kind of, she's dope. I just... Too much shit happened in that fucking house. Too much shit happened in that fucking house. And meanwhile, I go to jail for defending my child and these niggas don't even get a CPS fucking visit for the kind of shit they, they kids see. You know? There you go. So yeah, I'll watch the movie when, you know, I'll watch Emancipation when he emancipates himself from the, uh, the hell that he lives in that he tries to call marriage with that woman who still wished Tupac was alive. Uh. But enjoy the film. Buy lots of popcorn. <laughs> I ain't supporting shit he fucking do. He's a bad representation for black men. He is literally the epitome of a ballless man. I'm sick and tired of people making our black men look weak. I'm sick and tired of that shit because I don't know no nigga that would put up with the shit that that bitch done put him through. Now you could justify staying because you ain't want to cut up the money because she would have got the child support and the alimony, but the kids is grown. So if you staying now, it's either because you're being blackmailed to stay or you too lazy to go. He housebroken. That don't fit right for a Philly nigga. But he did grow up in Overbrook though. <laughs> he didn't technically grow up in West Philly. That, that, was, that was Jazzy Jeff's life he was writing about. He lived over there, not far from where Kobe Bryant grew up. That's the other side of City Avenue. He, he came up overbroke, you know, so they, were, they had big houses and he wasn't at the playground get beat up. That was Jazzy Jeff. He lived in the more suburb side off of City Avenue. He only, he went to Overbrook, you know, he went to the hood and then came home. I took my husband to where he used to go get his cheesesteaks at Larry's, which was right there by the train station around the corner from the nice houses. He's been playing roles for a long time. 
but I'm sick and tired of seeing these so-called couples destroying young people, destroying young people. And look at August mm. Alcina, like it's, he's so fucked off. I don't think that boy is his boyfriend. I think it's his bodyguard because his first show back in Miami, he gets beat up by Tory Lanez and his motherfucker, um, <laughs> um, bodyguard. And the nigga just got out the hospital. Like he, like these, this, these is little niggas. These is little niggas. <laughs> like it, it, it's almost like Will Smith called up Tory Lanez and fuck that nigga up for me. You know what I'm saying? Your first show back and you get you got to go back to the hospital. <laughs> All because you got taken advantage of by that bitch. Because they said it all started with Tory Lanez joking with him about the whole entanglement. That shit wasn't no entanglement, bitch. You fucking kid. You fucked a kid and cheated on your husband. Like, let's stop dressing this shit up and making it seem like it's anything. If, if Jada did any of the fucking shit to Will, would, you, would your wife, would y'all women, would you stand for that? No. Listen to me. Listen to me. He needs my help. <laughs> like, like, are you fucking kidding me? I wanted to help him. He was so sick and he needed my help. And you just figured you was going to ride his dick until he got better, huh? <laughs> like, really? <laughs> If I was a 16-year-old kid and I had the opportunity to emancipate myself, I wouldn't stick around to watch my mom fuck my friends. I wish the fuck my mom would have. I'm sorry. No, uh, Y'all know I get, I get passionate. <laughs> Y'all See, clap. Is there any other movie you want to talk about? Y'all clapping. <laughs> Man, we got a side show for next time. Jesus. Jaguar, we love you so much. Thank you for coming to sit down and talk with us. This was a real treat. I feel I'm high off this. I don't know. We finna kill him with this one. <laughs> we all gonna we we all gonna go off the grid after this for a little bit. <laughs> Hey. Listen to me. I'm back outside now. Fuck it. Fuck it's it. gonna be what it's. I'm back outside.